Hello, I'm Dustin Wunderlich, Communications Director for the University of Washington College of Education, and I'm here today with Professor Elham Kazmi and doctoral student Elzina McVicker. So, first off, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, ideas that you presented today? We were on a, in a session all about how you help teachers lead productive discussions across the disciplines. And our work, we chose to talk about the work um, that we do in pre-service teacher education and how we've designed learning environments so that we learn alongside um, our novice teachers with classroom teachers and a group of children. Um, so could you uh, maybe share a couple uh, ideas or thoughts about uh, how this uh, might uh, be beneficial for elementary educators who are interested in equitable mathematics discussions? Sure. We're trying to change classrooms so that children's ideas and their experiences are at the heart of what teachers do. So teaching mathematics is not about pouring information and pouring knowledge into kids heads but appreciating that they bring a lot of ideas to the classroom but this requires that teachers learn how to work with children really differently and it's not enough just to read about these ideas we really have to be working together on how to create these new kinds of learning environments because they're hard and it takes a lot of work um, different kind of work than preparing a lesson where you're delivering information so one of the things we've been able to um, understand by working with novice teachers and children together is the kinds of things that um, that are easier to do and the things that are harder so it's exciting and fun to ask kids how would you get that but what do you do with those ideas is a lot harder and it's not something that you can just tell someone else how to do so when we're together um, we get to, to work on orchestrating discussions together do you want to add to that yeah so um First off, like being together, we're together in planning and thinking about like what is it that our students might want to say or have ideas about around um, uh, an instructional activity that we do in mathematics. And then it's also making sure that there's support when the teachers are actually up in front teaching mm -hmm. a small group of students. Um, and I get to be like a teacher educator who could be in the background like um, doing teacher timeouts, which is when we just take a pause in the instruction and offer suggestions or have just short like 20 second discussions about like what should the next move be. Um, and then we make sure that we are recording those interactions because after we teach together, we go back and debrief where we actually get to reflect and say like what happened, what did students say, um, what are the questions that we could have said in the moment, and then we just start the whole process over again. Yep. Our goal is to really position kids as capable, so being together in these spaces also helps us be critical about our expectations of kids. Um, and challenge ideas that we might have about who's capable and who's not. And that was a, a major theme of this session is how do we do that in a way that's respectful to the teachers we're working with as well as the students, um, but helps us all grow together. Great. Well, thank you both very much for your time today. Thank you.